Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on finding the exact area of a simple fraction of a circle. We want to calculate the area of this quarter of a circle. This is a quarter of a circle. If we had four of these, it would make a full circle. And we want to give our answer in terms of pi. That's the kind of thing that's different from the previous video. Now, we previously saw that the area of a circle is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared. Remember, pi was a kind of special number uh, in maths. It has the value 3.141, etc. The digits go on forever. We can find it on our calculator. And r is the radius of the circle. If I just draw a little diagram, the radius is the line from the centre of the circle to the circumference of the circle, the perimeter of the circle. Um, and we can put r for radius. So we're going to use that length here. Now we've got a quarter of a circle here. If I was to continue this circle like this, so it's a full circle, we can see that would be the centre of the circle. So the 12 centimetres is in fact the radius of the circle. So if we wanted the full circle, the area of the whole circle, we would do pi multiplied by, remember in algebra when things are next to each other, you times them, so it's pi multiplied by the radius squared. Notice the radius is squared, not all of the pi r. So it's pi times by the radius of 12 squared. So that would be the area of the full circle, but we only want the area of a quarter of that full circle, so we're then going to divide it by 4. So this is the area uh, we want of the quarter circle, A for area. So if I do that on my calculator, I'm going to press the fraction button, and then do pi, uh, which I can get using shift, shift pi, multiply by 12 squared, and do that over four, and press equals. And now my calculator is telling me 36 pi. That means 36 lots of pi, 36 times pi. And this is an answer that's in terms of pi. We can either give a sort of like circle related answer in terms of pi, or we can give it as a decimal. In fact, if I converted the 36 pi to a decimal, I could do that, and it gives me 113.097, etc. That's what 36 lots of pi would be as a decimal. But we want to give an exact answer, and an exact answer will be one that keeps the pi in it. Um, the only thing I need to add is because this has got a unit of centimetres, and this is a unit of area, the unit here will be centimetres squared, because we have a length which is centimetres, then the area will be in centimetres squared. And that is the final answer.